please subscribe. Hey, this grunt told. Our cornerback situation is freaking embarrassing. I knew that it was bad, but I didn't realize that it was this bad that we had to result in wide receivers in practice playing the position. Our cornerbacks are trash to begin with. And that's just our starters. But when you have to replace wide receivers and put them in the position, then we have absolutely no chance to play against any team in this league. I think that the score is going to be 30-28 Eagles. I feel like the Eagles are going to find some offense against this Giants defense and figure out a way to score. But the Giants are going to find a way with Beckham and Shepard to go down the field with our trash corners. Eli Manning and those two receivers are going to be able to expose the defense. No, not expose, but to find the open holes and deep bomb it every single time. Or at least that's what they should do. They should just throw it down 30 yards and it's going to be completion because the receivers are going to be running 10 yards off the cornerbacks. It's going to be a very embarrassing game for the corners. Another very embarrassing game, I should say. That's not even counting their tight end, which is a very good tight end and Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley is just going to go off again. He's probably going to score five touchdowns. I mean, four touchdowns. 28 points, four touchdowns, ah, whatever. I feel like Saquon's going to get all their touchdowns because they're just going to deep bomb it and get to the 10-yard line and Barkley's just going to run it in. I feel like the Giants defense isn't that good. Gwent and the wide receivers and Josh Adams is going to find some rhythm and keep up with the scoring of the Giants. Right now, anybody can score on us because of how bad our corners are. If you want to have any chance in this game, our defensive line needs to get to Eli Manny fast in this game. We are still very capable because all of our starting defensive linemen are very good. And that's excluding Timmy Jernigan, which I think is going to come back this game. And Barnett, he's out for the season. If the defensive line can disrupt Eli Manny, then that will take the focus off of the corners or take the pressure off the corners to actually make stops every single time. I feel like the, this is going to be the breakout game for the defensive line this year. And they're going to have seven total sacks next to Eli Manny. Is that too much? I don't know. All right, I'll go with a more fair sack number five. The embarrassing part is that though once one in seven Giants are only one game away from us at three and seven, and we're four and six. So the Giants are as much into this divisional race as the Eagles are. Now another funny part is with the Cowboys losing on Thanksgiving. Oh, well, I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. But while th the Cowboys winning on Thanksgiving, that means that all the Eagles have to do to get into first place is to beat the Giants and beat the Redskins next week and have the Cowboys lose against the 9-1 and one Saints. This is very capable to do because of the Redskins losing Alex Smith and not that very good and getting destroyed by the Cowboys. And the Saints drawing over the Cowboys shouldn't be a problem. So all we have to do is just win these next few games and we're going to be in frickin' first place. That's so weird because of how bad we're playing and that we're 4-6. and six. This division sucks. I mean, we got the Giants. We got the 1-7 one Giants. We got the frickin' Redskins without a quarterback, and we got the frickin' Cowboys who have been mediocre for the past 20 years. This division sucks, and we're fighting to get out of last place. This is frickin' unbelievable. I'm getting tired of this crap, of the Eagles sucking, because you know I've been saying that we have so much potential, and we're just not using it. I'm getting sick and tired of it. My bold prediction in this game is even though the cornerbacks are terrible, they're going to get two interceptions off of Eli Manning. And one of them is going to go for a pick six to help the offense score some more points. Yeah, I know that's unrealistic, but that's my bold prediction. That's almost impossible because of the cornerback situation, but that's going to be my bold prediction of the game. That's maybe too bold. How about just one pick and no pick six? That's more reasonable for bold prediction, right? That's all, and this is a sh this is a short one, and that's all, folks. And thanks for watching. Fly on the road to victory.